We are just nine days away from the puck being dropped on the 2021 NHL season and training camp has officially started here for the Toronto Maple Leafs, where a lot of new faces are lacing up for the team. It's a real good feeling around here, a lot of positive vibes. Joe Thornton, Wayne Simmons and TJ Brody are just three of the new players joining the Leafs in training camp. Thornton, also known to hockey fans as Jumbo Joe, has already made his mark on the team. He's, uh, he's definitely uh, a larger than life figure, I think, uh, in the room. You know, you can, you know when he's in a room and, and he brings uh, a great presence. It's, you know, I think that he demands a lot from, from his teammates. The Buds hit the ice for the first time in training camp today with the team pairing Thornton, Matthews and Marner on the same line. You know, these guys grew up on skills coaches and things like that. And they can do things I you know, could ever imagine doing. But, um, you know, just being around this, this useful energy, I think it just uh, gets me excited. Um, and they got a lot of it here, but uh, yeah, just soak it all in. Um, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, young again. It's, it's a good feeling to be in. Not only are there a lot of new names on the team, but the Leafs are in a new division for the year. Because of the pandemic, they are in an all-Canadian division with the seven Canadian franchises instead of heading across the U.S. border. We get to play against Vancouver and Calgary and Winnipeg uh, more so than we would any other year. So it's going to be, uh, you know, very interesting. And obviously the Canadian element, I think from a fan perspective, uh, being a Canadian, uh, having all the Canadian teams in one division uh, is going to make for a really interesting year. The Leafs will play the first game on January 13th, where they're supposed to host the Montreal Canadiens. But if they can play here is still a mystery, as the Ontario government hasn't officially given clearance to the Leafs or Ottawa Senators to play in the province. Quebec earlier Monday gave the green light following B.C. and Alberta's move to let the teams play to an empty arena in their cities. Edmonton is hosting the World Juniors, where tonight Team Canada is set to face off against Team Russia in the first of two semifinal games at the World Juniors Men's Hockey Championship. The winner will play in Tuesday night's gold medal game against the winner of the second semifinal matchup between Finland and the United States. The Raps are also in action, taking on the Celtics on the hard court for the first time since Game 7 of their playoff series in the bubble. The Raptors off to a less than ideal start, winning just one of their last five games. We have things we need to work on as a team, and that's what we're looking to do tonight. And for all of you March Madness fans, the NCAA announced on Monday that all of the 67 men's basketball games, including the Final Four, will be held in Indiana this year to avoid the tournament being canceled for a second time because of the pandemic. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.